Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your Windows from legacy BIOS to UEFI on a Predator laptop. So let's get started. Okay, so here you can see that if I go to disk, it is installed in legacy BIOS mode. So if I go to properties, you're going to see that the disk partitioning style is MBR. So before we convert it to UEFI, we have to convert the disk to GPT mode. So for that you just need to go to command prompt, run the command prompt as administrator. So you can open command prompt or PowerShell, anything would work. And over here you have to use MBR to GPT slash Uh, before conversion, I'm gonna, just going to show you the different options available. So before converting, we can, we're going to validate it. So you can say validate and I'm going to convert disk zero. So I'll just clean and MBR to GPT slash validate. If I don't specify the disk is going to use the disk zero. So that's my first disk. And we have to, we are uh, doing in while the windows is running. So I can, I have to specify the switch allow full OS forward slash allow full OS, press enter key and validation succeeded. So now I'm going to convert it. So delete this validate switch and specify convert, enter. And now it's going to convert the disk. Uh, conversion has succeeded saying that uh, windows recovery agent is not enabled so uh, that's okay can enable it later on and now if i go to the disk management and you can see that has created this 100 mb efi partition and if you have a look on the properties of the disk now it is gpt now we need to just reboot the machine and go to bios and from there we need to convert from a legacy to UEFI. So click restart. And while it is restarting, you have to keep on pressing F2 key. Keep on pressing F2. And over here in the setup utility, you need to go to boot. And from here, boot mode, you have to press enter key and press up arrow keys to select UEFI, press enter key. Okay. And now you can save by pressing F10. Save changes, yes. And it's going to restart. Okay, now if I go to MS Info 32, you can see that the installation is in UEFI mode. So this is how you can convert your windows from legacy to UEFI. So hope you like this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.